Who Game Shows concludes today. An incredible £1,500 ready in real cash, ready to be won, all lost in an instant. It's tense, it's treacherous. We have some tough questions, but great teams. Who's got what it takes to win the lot? This is the Million Pound Drop. Hello everybody, happy Christmas and welcome to the final ever Who Game Show. In front of me is 1,500, not ready, it's a microphone. That will be split up evenly into three lots as we have three teams playing today. We have Crispy Pro, Adam Martin, Dominic J. Martin, Troy aka Red Archer Live, Michael Wilson and Philip Hawkins. In pairs, they'll try to hold on to as much of this cash as they can across eight questions. Tonight's first team is Troy Red Archer Live and Crispy Pro. Hello guys. Hello there. Hi. Crispy, we'll start with you, Mr. Crisp. Debutant yeah. and technically finalist of this channel today. How are you? Oh, I'm just I'm just dandy. How are you? I'm great. I'm not as festive as you are today. I love the overthrow. Thank you very much. Thank you. Just just put this on. Just put this on. Mm. You know, it's Christmas time. <laughs> Absolutely, even though we're recording this in September, in the summer. It's just, it's so wild that you had that to hand three months early <laughs> that you just knew, just like, you knew where it was. It's like, oh, do you want me to get some Christmas gear on? I was like, if you have it, I was like, mine's all yeah. in the loft. I'm not it's going right there the in between all his Katy Perry t-shirts, you know? Yeah, yeah, I've got some. What, what else do you want? Name something, yeah. I'll, I'll go and put it on, Matt. I'll go and put it on. <laughs> Okay, maybe not. <laughs> well, what a sum of money you're going to be paying for today, Crispy. Where would £500 go towards for you? Probably Troy Red Archer Live for editing the podcast. <gasps> oh, 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 oh. Well, I'm like... kidding. I'm flying to London, folks. So I can go give towards Troy the fun for that. Finally, look at the plane tickets. Yeah. The returns. We're getting the plane tickets. I'm going to London. How about you come to England and do a UK version of one of your parody songs? I loved those parody songs oh. back in the day. Oh, thank you very much. Yeah, of course. What do you want? What song do you want me to do? Uh, I, I don't know. Goodbye 13. You did one about 12, so do one about 13. I want Fair in enough. on that. I want in. Okay, yeah. I can do that. Uh, <laughs> right, now, Troy, myself and the viewers at home will know a lot about you, particularly your Who blind spots, being classic Who, of course. So let's switch this up a bit. You two are, of course, podcast co-hosts, so you should know a lot about each other. Troy, where do you think Crispy's strengths and weaknesses lie? The same as me. He's not seen, like, nearly any classic Who. You've basically got oh, the same no. person twice here. Yeah. Did you We're not know this when we signed up? I didn't I warn know, you about I know, it. I, I, know, I know you told me, and I believe that I knew. However, I was just hopeful that Crispy knew a little bit. <laughs> nope. Uh, no. No, we, we not, were going to watch that, Classic Who for a podcast much. episode about 10 episodes ago, and he was like, no, 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 I've got a better idea for it. Postpone. Wait, 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 wait. Postpone. Postpone. You know? Postpone. Yeah, Postpone. So we haven't done it yet. I'm putting it off. Right. Okay. Yeah. Conversely, Crispy. <laughs> Hi. I don't know why I'm asking you this now after that, but where do you think Troy's strengths and weaknesses lie? I think... I don't know. This is it. No one's ever asked me. I feel like Troy, are we in therapy right now? <laughs> Couples therapy. Yeah, Couples counselling. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna mention this the, the 17 go DVDs, wrong. man. Come on, the 17 DVDs. No, I think I Robin think Hood. Troy is is probably one of the best Doctor Who, um, like banks of knowledge from the modern era. Mm. In one of our episodes, we were doing a quiz, and I tried to find like the hardest Doctor Who quiz. And then one of the questions was, oh, how many DVDs was an Easter egg on in Blink? And there were options. There were multiple choice, but Troy just went, nah, straight up 17. And I was like, I didn't even read out the options. And from then on, I had full faith that <laughs> this guy knows his stuff. Sure. No, so, sure. but it's going to be very interesting, uh, like pretty much the same with Troy. Our weaknesses are classic who. So it's going to be a fun one. It's gonna be. You a guys fun ever one. had girlfriends? Like, I want to know what it's like. You know. <laughs> <laughs> is that your? Is that your weakness? <laughs> you can play along at home as well. You just need to go to my Twitter page, Will underscore Templar. At the time each question is asked on the video, a poll will appear. The poll will stay open for a short while. Vote in the poll, and as the poll concludes, I shall put the results down in the comment section to reveal how everyone did. Now guys, let me explain how the game goes. So there are four drops and each represents an answer, but only one is the right answer. Now, you can spread your cash, but you must always leave one drop clear. From the fifth question onwards, the number of drops will reduce to three, and for the eighth and final question, it will reduce to just two. After the possible answers and then the question is revealed, 
you will have 60 seconds to distribute your money. If you don't exclude a drop zone from cash, you will be eliminated automatically, so do remember to leave one clear. Any money you fail to account for before the time is up will be forfeited from the game. Do you guys understand? I yes, do sure. indeed. Awesome. <clears throat> Before each question, I'm going to give you the choice of two categories. You choose what category you'd like to get a question from. And then that is the question you will be both answering from and separating your money for. So, let's take a look at your first two categories. They are the fifth doctor and the twelfth doctor. Oh, Troy, real hard one there, mate. Oh, real, real, real <laughs> hard one. Oh, I don't know. I think it's got to be the twelfth doctor. <laughs> yeah, please. Yeah. Something told me that wouldn't be a difficult decision when I was conceiving that. Well, oh, what do you mean? No, I would have to think really long and hard about that. No. Let's take a look at the four possible answers. Nose, mm. ear, arm, leg. And here is your question. What part of Clara's body did the doctor flick whilst invisible in their caretaker? You have one minute starting now. It's the nose, isn't it? Gonna... Is it the nose? I, I, I think, I don't know, I don't, I don't I know, feel, what is this I, I first feel, question, man? I feel like, I feel like she goes, hey, and like grabs her arm, but maybe it's her nose. I I'm know. tossing up between arm or nose, I don't think it's ear or leg. Yeah, I don't think, I... rule those it's out. It's not a leg, it's not a leg. Not a leg, I don't think it's her ear. Come on, I don't know now, I don't know. I'm sorry, I'm you sorry, I feel like I'm you. What do you want to put the money, bro? What do you want to put the money? Um, you you had a better inclination, I think. I was thinking it was her nose, but I don't I don't remember. I don't remember. Even f Fifteen seconds, twenty five. You think it's her arm? 20. Okay. Do you want to split it half what and half on a, a nose and arm, or do you want to lean more towards arm? You guys you have to confident. distribute it in ten seconds, quick. I, I'm not gonna ask. Do you, you have to? Oh, just play it safe. Go 50-50. Just play it safe. Fifty fifty. Oh no, three hundred arm, two hundred nose. All right, good call, Troy. You have just put a lot of money onto two different answers. So either way, you're going to lose. Well, don't say it. Quite don't a bit. don't say that. That's right. fine. So, let's remove some answers. Gone first. It's leg. Next gone. Is ear. The correct answer is nose. So arm oh, is Troy. Gone. I am so sorry. Troy, I am so sorry. Troy, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I said nose right at the very beginning. Friendships are gonna be I, lost yeah. today. <laughs> oh no. Oh, oh no. Why did I? Oh. I'm sorry. I said 50-50. I said 50-50. But you came in with confidence, man. I was like, maybe I'm wrong on this one. Well, I, I've obviously remembered it wrong. I've obviously remembered it wrong. Yeah, would well, you know how you can help us in the future, Crispy? Leave us alone. <laughs> all right. <laughs> See, that's the only caretaker reference I have. That's all right. We're still in it. We're still in it. Right. So you guys have 10 bundles of 20 pounds left. Brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> right. Here are you next two categories. Spin-offs. Or classic Who oh, no. story deep dive. All right, Troy. <laughs> yes, this is the class question, then, isn't it? So go for go for spin-off, surely, right? Yeah, has to be. Chris, we don't fuck this up now. After that, <laughs> oh, I'm so scared. I'm going to. I'm going to. Oh no! All right, here we go. Is the class question? Here are the four possible answers: April, Charlie, Ram, Tanya. And here is the question. Mm -hmm. In yeah. class, who was the prince of the Rodians? Oh, the, put it all on put it all on B. Charlie, yeah, I know that I knew that as well. That's Charlie. Yeah. 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 200 quid on Charlie. All all, all money. All You're in. In your time now, yeah? Yeah. Mm -hmm. All in. Okay. An incorrect answer is Tanya. And Ram has just dropped. And so was April, it was indeed oh. Charlie. Bang. Oh my god. Oh god. <laughs> I god. was I was yeah. worried. I was, no, I was worried because April in the show like gets possessed mm. by I can't remember what the, the villains are, and I was like, oh, does she become like the prince by Hello. definition? Oh sorry. 
It's not that big of a spoiler. Anyway, <laughs> oh, no, but right. she's not. Right. Well, you have two hundred pound left. Ten bundles of twenty pounds. Very well done. All right. <laughs> oh dear God. Does it feel like it? <laughs> <laughs> You're not even halfway through. Right. Okay. Shut so, up. <laughs> here's the third question. Here are the categories. You have the fifth Doctor or classic Who story deep dive. Right. It's been so, nice knowing you. It's, it's been, been so really nice great. You. It's been really great. This whole experience. <laughs> has been so rewarding. <laughs> Troy, I hate I hate the phrase deep dive. I hate that phrase. I'm going to deep dive However, in a bit of depression. Very. <laughs> <laughs> My bank balance is going to take a deep dive, let me tell you. <laughs> right. What do you want? What do you want, brother? Can we, can we, can we please want to be a millionaire? Can I ask the host? Can I ask the host and see what the host of records we should pick? Oh uh, yeah, sure, you can ask me and I'll give you my honest answer. I hope it's your honest answer. Go on, what, okay. would you, what would you say? Personally, I would go with the fifth doctor. That's what I was thinking. I think I was going to say it. the fifth doctor. Let's do it. Oh, go All on right. then. Here are your four possible answers. Perry, Adric, Comedian, and Turdo. And the question is, who Please was commissioned? Died. Who was commissioned by the Black Guardian to kill the doctor? Your one minute starts now. So, um, what are you doing with your zero winnings? I'm staying in Australia, mate. Yeah. I'm not <laughs> lying over I'm any enjoying, time. I'm, I'm enjoying not having much money, you know. I got I got so excited about the idea of maybe, you know, pulling, getting a bit more money in my bank balance. I really need it right now, but no, we had to get done down by Classic Who, as always. I don't, I, I honestly couldn't tell you with confidence. I, it's not Perry, so it's, uh, I, I don't know if you have any yeah, kind get of- get rid of Perry. Do you have any kind of inclination beyond that? Remember, you can distribute your money across three answers. So you don't oh, we're going to, I feel like. Okay. Yeah. I um, think it might be Adric, but I, I feel I, like I'm I get that. I get that feeling as well, honestly. But we last time that 20, happened, um, I was wrong. 20 seconds. So if, we, if we're more confident, we could put 120 on one and 40 on the others, maybe? Or that might be too much. Sure. Maybe do 80, 80 uh, 40. You got any seconds. kind of opinion? Quick. Uh... Do you want to lean more on Adric? 80 Adric. Uh, um, no, no, 120 Adric, 40 on Chameleon, 40 on Turlo. Yeah, do that. Do that. Okay. Let's keep it alive. Oh, right, okay. Watch it be Perry, <laughs> and I'm going to cry. That you, but We're clearly wrong on Adric, because that grunt said it all. <laughs> You're, You're not a good host, Will. I'm sorry, buddy. You're not good. No. <laughs> right, okay. You have put all your money, well, a lot of your money, the bulk of it, on Adric, did you not? He's saying this to a maths tutor. Let's I'm, have I'm, I'm... the drops. <laughs> Perry, Chameleon, and Adric have just dropped. It was Turlo. I'm not gonna lie, I did I was I was thinking it might have been Chameleon. I was I so I don't I don't I disregarded Turlo. Yeah. <laughs> Man That's alright. Turlo. Right, so we've you... got 40 quid, I get 40 can quid. <laughs> can we go right. again, please? Can we please have another how, 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 how much is a flight from Australia to England? Like about, a grand? Uh, yeah, at least, yeah, a thousand pounds. Right, this 20 pound will go towards that. Right, I'm pleased to announce right. that there are two for sure modern who questions coming up, if you make it. Oh, great. <laughs> if we make it. If oh, great. It. That's so reassuring. I can't wait till Classic Who Deep Dives pops back up in the category. <laughs> no, but here, here's the thing. There are still three options, but you can only distribute your money across two options now because you've only got two bundles left. That's fine. Hang on. We're, we're on question four next. Hasn't that still got four options? No, you've still got four options, but you've only got two yeah, lots of only, 20s. I only have two lots of 20s. <laughs> <laughs> He was oh, so confident going into this. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Happy Christmas, everyone. I'm gonna Merry be sick. Christmas. <laughs> I'm gonna be Merry sick. Christmas. I'm gonna be oh, sick. I'm actually for 20 minutes. <laughs> Two thanks, categories. Thanks. Series 6 and Series 7. <laughs> Right, do you know what? I'm I'm kicking my feet up. Series six, he's answering it. Go. Yeah, alright, let's do it. Series yeah. six. <laughs> all right. Get your signed picture out, Crispy. Get the signed picture out for luck. Where is it? Oh yeah, I want to see this. Where is it? He's got it on his bed. He's got, he's got it on his bed. There it is. Oh, yeah, alright, yeah, 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 right, go, 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 go. Right, Here are your four options. Jennifer, Cleves, Buzzer, 
Dickin. And the question is, what ganger did Rory become particularly attached to? Oh, I know. I know this. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it has to be Jennifer, right? It's Jennifer. It's Jennifer. 40 yeah. on Jennifer. Go. Fuck it all up. 40 okay. on Jennifer. Let's do it. Okay. Dickin has dropped. Cleves has dropped. Buzzer has dropped. You stay in the game with 40 pounds. Very well done. Are you guys in agreement that is a great two parter? Very underrated? Very underrated. underrated. Yeah, 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 yeah. Fantastic. Right. You're doing very well now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, we are. <laughs> Don't insult our intelligence. Yeah, to be Come fair, on. Two of the four questions, you're like 100%. I know it. So, yeah, it's just the first question I've already did you over. My brother, we have 8% of our money left. That is not doing well. Man's done the math. <laughs> Man has done the math. Right. Fifth question, your two categories to choose from are Stephen Moffat and Chris Chimnall. <laughs> what do you want to do, Troy? <laughs> Troy's just broken up. <laughs> Why is that so no. funny? <laughs> oh no, I have no idea. I we could do either, I think. Confidently. <laughs> I, was not, I was not expecting shit. <laughs> what? Why is that such a shock? We're on a Doctor Who quiz show. Maybe it's because I'm just sad. I don't know. My emotions are shot up. <laughs> I kind of want to go for the moth because I don't know. But what do you think? We can go moth. Who's I probably watch more. Russell T. Got Nathan Turner. Nathan Turner. There it is. Well done, <laughs> Troy. <laughs> and and everybody who likes classic Who now hates me. Goal accomplished. Yeah. No. Yeah. Um, so genuinely, what are you guys thinking? What do you think? Moth. I'm gonna go moth. Let's do it. Right, we'll David Hasselmoff. Hasselmoff. This is quite a tricky question. Can you tell that I've lost all will to live? <laughs> usually usually when he sits in his seat like that, something bad has happened. <laughs> he knows. Man knows. Yeah. Man knows. Right. Your three options are... We're down to three options now with question five. They are... Out of water shark. Being touched by something as a child. Crack in his bedroom wall. Come again? <laughs> Your face is hey. Okay. And the question is, what was Stephen Moffat's fear as a child? Surely it has to be B because that I feel like that was an interview from Listen. Or maybe that, or maybe I'm just thinking about the actual episode there where it's like everyone has that irrational fear. If he's scared of his crack in his bedroom wall, then he's a right wuss. <laughs> feel... Out of water shark. <laughs> you know, something tells me that one's a bit of a red herring. What should that be the right I... answer now if I've said that? I know, I know. I'm scared that's I'm scared that's right. You mute yourself, all right? I'm not, I'm not judging our right oh, answers off you laughing. Knock it out. He actually has muted himself. Oh, what a king. What a king. <laughs> um, what, do you, what do you want to go for? I, I, it kind of has to be under the bed. Yeah, let's do. Let's do. I'd be shocked if it's cracking the wall. And all right, the, uh, so both both yeah, yeah, money's on me. Please distribute yeah. the money. Please, please distribute, distribute the money. Yeah, so both 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 on me. No, please what? distribute the money. I'm helping you out here. Oh. Fuck. <laughs> Sorry. Please distribute the money. Uh, I've given you that one for free. I've given you that one for free. Is it A? Is it A? I, I'm not giving you an answer, but it's 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 not the one you were thinking. I, I'm giving you a free pass for that one. 30 seconds, it, just go for it. Is it A? I don't. Maybe it's A now. I don't know. I've got, I've got no idea. I've got no idea. Why are we laughing at us saying that A's a red herring or me saying he's a wuss if what, it's C? What I will say is you can put 20 on each and then you'll definitely will get it wrong. Then, then we've got more, two more questions with three options and only one want to catch to spread. Oh, 10 seconds. What do you want to do? Do you want to end it here, Troy? Or do you want to split it? I'll leave it to you, Crispy. I give up. I give oh, up. Oh, for God's sake. I kind of want to go all in on A for, for a joke. I want to go in on A. <laughs> what do you want to do? Should we go in on A, Troy, and call it a day? <laughs> What's 10 quid, mate? Screw it. Go on, yeah, go on, on A. <laughs> it's a shark. I'm oh, for a shark. All right. The drop chances are B, of course. And C. So A, out of four shock. Where's the what? correct answer? <laughs> You're joking me! I'm not you joking. are joking me! 
Basically, effectively, you are having a laugh. Effectively, Stephen Moffat's fear was a shark that was able to go onto land, so a shark out of water. Wow, mate, <laughs> that is the craziest I've thing. Knocked everything over on my desk out of shock. <laughs> I. <laughs> He did a whole little what? monologue about how it's not A, and then it turns out to be A. That was like, he wants to be a millionaire with the coughing. <laughs> <laughs> right, it's definitely not D. Post-intervention value. <laughs> I'm going to go with D, final answer. Um, oh my you God. You don't deserve to still be here, okay? I like to point that out now. <laughs> oh, I think everyone, fun. everyone watching right now is like, how? How are, how are these guys Doctor Who fans? Claim to be Doctor Who fans. It's 17 ridiculous. DVDs, man. Seven, seven, ask about the DVDs. <laughs> ask well, about the DVDs, please. Your please. options are 17, 18, 19, and the 20. No, I'm joking. Your face is so hopeful <laughs> for that 10 second period. Oh. <laughs> right, uh, so question six. You are free away from winning £20 each. Yeah. <sighs> your two categories are. You know, it's bad when your host has given up. <laughs> Series oh, 7. Oh, your next two categories. Oh. Series 7, <laughs> add Christian. <No. laughs> series 7 and Chris Chibnall. Series 7 and Christian, like separate categories. Uh -huh. I, Troy, what are you feeling? I don't know. A series I don't know. Seven. I don't know what Chris Chibnall's biggest fear is, mate. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's It's... It, um, it's nerd rotic. That's his greatest fear. Um, oh, nice! No. <laughs> cool. I think maybe series seven. Maybe. Don't don't leave it on me. Um, I'm too. Let's go, I'm no, too. No, let's let's go let's go series seven. Let's. I feel like you and I know more about that era than Chibnall's. Even though we both, I feel like Chibnall might come up again anyway. See what so. the name of the Ice Warrior is, so I can just say Scald. I can get the money, please. <laughs> yeah. You're going series seven. Yeah. Yeah. The drops are Rome, Las Vegas, and Paris. The question is, is it what, about Cold War? It is. Yeah. What city yeah, let's go. did the Doctor exclaim when leaving the TARDIS in Cold War? Viva Las Vegas! Las Vegas baby! <laughs> wow! <laughs> Put it all on me! All Put it all on me! All <laughs> The that's emotions in this episode, like it's the whole scale. <laughs> Thank it's God the I whole got your scale. face cams on. Thank God I have your face cams on. This is fantastic. <laughs> you are, you are so glad you asked us to record our cameras now, yeah. aren't you? I'm spoiled yeah. in the edit. I'm spoiled in the edit. <laughs> oh, right. Well, here are the answers that are going to drop. Oh, I wonder. <laughs> Dropped. Yeah. Ah, Roman Paris. Well. Yeah. Done. I was right about being Cold War. Look at that. Look at yeah. that. Yeah, that go. was. Yeah. Wow. I what was the right. name of the villain in the episode Cold War? I'd have been like. <laughs> Question seven. It's a classic Who centric one. Oh. We have the first Doctor era and the seventh Doctor era. Can we, can we I cash will out? Go down with <laughs> this ship. And I will put my put hands my up hands <laughs> and surrender. I die. The tea's gone cold. Wait, no, I, I don't know. <laughs> we just. How much? How much do you know about? How much do you know about? Uh, first doctor. First doctor era. How much do you know? Susan. He said something very different there. Um, <laughs> I want to do Eminem's "Not Afraid," but I'm afraid. That one, that yeah. one video. I'm, I, afraid, I'm afraid. I'm afraid. I, I do have a coin in front of me. Do you want to flip a coin? I, I'm, I'm going to say right now, instinctively, I kind of feel like I should go seventh Doctor, but why? Because because we sure him gets shot in the TV movie. Because because he's because he's in a council estate once. I don't know. I don't know where I'm going with this. Screw it. Let's let's just go seven. Really? Yeah. Let's do it. Well, flip the coin and, tell, and see what it tells us. Okay. The he heads can be William Hartnell because he's the head of the family, and tails can be Sylvester McCoy because he was the tail end of the classic era. Okay. Wow, that was really apt. <laughs> yeah, now give us the money. <laughs> it is tails. Yeah, okay, seven it is. Seven. Seventh Doctor, seventh Doctor. Okay, your options seventh are. Doctor, seventh Doctor, <clears throat> For your seventh Doctor question, your options are the first Doctor, the old geezer, the second Doctor, the Cosmic Hobo, or the third Doctor, the man of no name. And the question is, what former Doctor is alluded to in remembrance of the Daleks? Great. 
really great episode. Uh, and so we can't split this money, can we? Uh, yeah, you got two lots of 20s. Okay, Troy. <laughs> uh, in my head, in yeah. my head, the only nickname that really stands out to me is the second Doctor Cosmic Hobo. I mm. feel like I've heard that before. Do you feel like after that very feels like a like a Sylvester thing to say as well? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. What I, do you want to do? I, well, I feel like it's not man of no name, but last time that happened, it what ended up being that. So okay, look at this way. This is question seven. So the next question, we have two options. So we could only put our money on one thing anyway. Yeah. So if we only have twenty quid left at the end, it doesn't matter because we'd have to put it on one slot anyway. So we could we could split here, and it wouldn't be the biggest loss. Okay. Let's so, split it then. Strategic. What do you think? Oh, he's a cosmic over. I'm locking that in. Oh. I'm locking that in. You got one of the correct answers, so I'm locking it in. You are going to be paying yeah. the final question. Well done. This is this is literally like we're two <laughs> old people at a home going, I remember when the doctor was Tom Baker and you're going, that's nice, granddad. Back to your room. Like, what is going on? <laughs> what is going on? Yeah, put £20 on A and £20 on B. I was going to put it all on B. A dropped answer is B. A dropped answer is C. So, Troy, if there we, we stuck with you. No, <laughs> so that's why I went with Crispy. I said that for dramatic effect. I wasn't sure if I fun know. Know. it, but I am stunned by that. I am stunned. I am well, stunned by that because that was a potential. Oh dear. I was, I was very tempted to go all in on B. There we go. Oh, I love the solidarity system. Right. Well, it. the game show fanatics are just screaming at me for not sticking to the rules of the game. <laughs> for giving I know, me so you really, time. like... I mean, it, it all went down. Very I lenient. said that 12 flicked Clara's arm. I mean... <laughs> yeah. Right. Final question. Two options. Here are your two categories. The Lazarus Experiment, or the Time of Angels. You hear that? Did you hear that, Troy? <laughs> You're taking the mic. You're taking the mic. That's a joke. <laughs> that, please tell me that's a joke. Please tell me that's a joke. Final question. Then we have to go for what was my favorite episode of Doctor Who for the longest time. And if we get this wrong, then Who's There a Doctor Who podcast is ending, okay? Yeah. Um, yeah. It's not really. I, I, we need. We need to get it to a point where we can make money. I need money. No. Um, <laughs> seriously, we we cannot. We can't not pick the Lazarus experiment. We Lock can't not. Right. For Lazarus, my nostalgia sake. Up. The Lazarus experiment. All right. Your options Excuse are. The juice out of an orange. Eleven, and twelve. The question is: At the climax of the episode, what does the Doctor turn the organ up to? 11, 11, it's 11, it's 11, it's 11, it's 11, he's either going to turn it up to 11 and I always think I'm Matt Smith, I don't know why but I always do. Oh, I think everyone does, including on myself. Yeah. Right, All in. boys. Sorry Crispy, you're just a spectator, it's 11. I am happy to watch this. Let's build up some tension. You came in here with 500 pound. Oh. Crispy decimated it with the first question. Well. <laughs> Happy Christmas, mate. You guys made it to the end. And Troy put all his faith into Eleven. Who would have matched me if he's the best doctor, of course. Let's see what the correct answer is. Has Troy just got his bloody lube ready for a celebratory rank? What was. No, I've got this to put it around Crispy's neck. Oh, for okay. Losing us 300 quid. Come yeah. here, Crispy. Come here. <laughs> Come here, no. come here. Pity against the wall, that one meme from like five years ago. Boof. <laughs> the answer that is going to drop is 12. You have just won 20 pounds. Congratulations, guys. Muted celebrations today. <laughs> cool, I guess. <laughs> Fantastic. You old geezer. <laughs> Woo! So how are you distributing this? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, well, by age, we'll know. both get a Freddo. I mean, great. Freddo. We'll get a Freddo. <laughs> oh, boy. 60% oh, oh, boy. of the money went on the first question. Does this fit around my neck, I wonder? Oh, stop. No, it stop. Damn. Damn. Well, Will, I had a great time. I had a great time here. It was a pleasure here. to have you on, man. 
<laughs> Thank you no, so much. It was much. fun. It was fun. It. It's been painful, but it was fun. <laughs> it's made for some fantastic content, is what it's given me. Oh, I bet you it has. I bet it has. Yeah. yeah. Guys, it's been a pleasure to spend this time with you guys. And uh, well done. You did win the game show in the end. So congratulations. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> On to Adam and Phil, I suppose. See ya. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs>